folks, welcome back. I was just about to make a biogas engine to power all my crap upstairs, which is where I've moved all the ore processing stuff. Let's see. Now, I can, let's see if I can make a piston right the first time, shall we? Stone, stone. Wood, wood, wood. Redstone. Iron. Damn it. Okay. I need glass. Do I have glass down here? Shit. I do not have any glass down here. Well, let's just go upstairs and do it anyway. Well, do I have all the... I got the gear. I've got ingots. Let's put, put this away for right now. All my money. I'm going to move the money upstairs too. Like, upstairs, upstairs. Okay. Now, I will plug... No, duh, I can't really do that here. Because I have no crafting bench. And thus, I have not made the friggin' engine yet. Let's just plop that down there. If there is in uh, the New World mod pack some uh, comparable item to Red Power's project table, I would sure love to know about it. I have not been able to find it myself, but then again, I haven't looked very hard. Fuck off, spider. Fuck off, creeper. <laughs> yeah, blow up on the meteor crap, sure. Not gonna hurt anything. Oh, you... Ouch! What was that shit? Creeper might have done me a favor. Sulfur, not really. I'll fill that in later. Up we go, up we go, and up we go. Just didn't fix that window, I accidentally busted out in creative. You know, while I'm thinking about it, let's just go ahead and do that. Yep. I get the sulfur out of my inventory, I don't need that. That's a different kind of sulfur. Okay. Oh, put all my money away here. There we go. And I think there's a window upstairs that's still... Ooh, it's dark up here. Yeah, that window right there still needs a pane in it. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with those yet, so they can just stay for now. Well, actually, that one has been decided, because I've got logs on it. It's going to be just perfect. There we go. Okay. Let's go downstairs and make us an engine. I need one more piece of glass. Put that in the middle. The piston. Two bronze gears. And three bronze ingots. I said three bronze ingots. There we go. Okay. Now. I can't just start this thing up yet, unfortunately. Slimes. Ugh. Go away. Go away, slimes. Go away, slime. Ah, shit. What does it do? It gives me a slime ball. I don't want the slime ball. I made a diamond sword while I was down there because I've got such a surplus of diamonds already. And actually, what I'd like to start getting ready to do with them, I need to make an MFE so I can charge a nano suit. 
I would very much like to make a nano suit. I have one on the Ogs Crack server. I love it. It's not horribly expensive. It takes a hell of a lot of coal. And then, of course, you got to charge the MFE. Let's see, there's nothing in there. Okay, but it does need power. Okay, I'm going to take the Sterling engine. And I'm going to put it on the fermenter. So we can start making some biomass. Let's see, I need another... Another lever. Okay, let's see, do I have some of those plant balls downstairs or do I have to go all the way back to the house? I need to build a water elevator or something. This is getting old. There's plant balls. Okay. Uh, we'll have to go back upstairs anyway because I forgot to bring down some fuel for the fermenter. Now, what kind of fuel does a fermenter use? Well, plant balls go here or your other organic matter. Water goes here. And I think I have a bucket. Something goes here. That is a fuel. You can either use compost or you can use fertilizer or you can use mulch. I'm going to use compost because I have some dirt and I have some wheat. And it's real simple and easy to make. And I need to make me a proper wheat farm. I'm just going to go over here. I could go back up to the house and get some. I'll take these eggs. There's an enderman. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I got I got beef with you, son. Where'd you go? Yeah, it's daytime. He probably bailed out. Let's plant this. Let's get another bucket of water while we're at it. Now there is a thing that I can make that can just automatically feed the fermenter water. It's called an aqueous accumulator. Very simple, requires no power. I'm just not sure I have the materials to make it, but that's okay. I use them actually both for fermenters and in my houses, in my kitchens. Why is my door popped off? Did a zombie go in there? Is there a zombie in my house? Hello? Okay. Might have come up the ladder, who knows. Anyway. Head on back down. There's some XP over here. Anyway, you basically plug, plop the aqueous accumulator into a pool of water, and then just one wooden waterproof pipe, all you need. It starts spitting water directly into your device or into a tank. So I use them down here to feed fermenters, and I also use them up in the houses to make a kitchen sink. And it works great for brewing. So, let's see, I think it's... Where's my dirt? I think it's a dirt and... Oh, shit. Four wheat. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see. Let's look it up. Com... Post. Okay. There it is. Compost is four wheat and a dirt, or four ash and a dirt. Or it might come out of a comb. Okay, that's not going to work. I've, i got to go all the way back up here. Get some more wheat. Actually, I need to eat something. 
I ate some of this delicious udon I picked up in the village. Nom nom nom. Oh yum. That's good. That is good stuff. Yeah, I got this fancy helmet in the village too. God, I just love that millionaire mod. I love it. So you can do so much cool stuff with the villages now. Apparently there are also Mayan villages and Norman villages and Indian villages. And then there was that one Greek guy out there. Um, what am I doing? I need wheat. Do I have wheat in a... Yes, I have wheat in a barrel. Two, three, four, six. Let's make two piles. Okay. So, wheat, 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 wheat. That's spruce. Where's my dirt? There we go. Compost. Now we are all ready to make a little bit of biomass. To start feeding our machines. And we'll need one more thing to make that engine go. We'll need lava to warm it up. But that's easy enough. There's a whole shit ton of it downstairs. I got coal in the Surly engine? Not yet. Now I do. Okay, there's water, there's biomass, and now there's some compost. All it needs is power. And that will start chugging. And spit out some biomass here eventually. While that's going, I'm going to go down. And I'm going to make another bucket. Actually, I'm going to make a couple more buckets. How much iron do I have? How much iron dust do I have? Okay. I'm going to need more iron than that. Grind that up. Well, that's going. Get me a bucket. Shut up, zombie. Okay, I can make one more bucket with that. And we will pour that into the engine. Now eventually I will make, um, since this pack does have the mod, I can't remember whether it's Mine Factory Reloaded or one of the other ones, but it has the lava fabricator. It has a machine that makes lava that's much, much more economical than Buildcraft's Magma Crucible. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, we got some biomass coming. Let's put the bucket in here. And while that is chugging, Let's look up how to make an aqueous accumulator. Whoops, aquarius, no. There we go. You do that by making a machine frame, a pneumatic servo, 210, two glass and a bucket. Well, what the hell do you do? Okay, iron and redstone, easy. So I'm going to need to get some more resources before I make that. Let's go ahead and run this all out. Plop that in there. It automatically goes to the right place. Cool beans. And what I'd like to do now, <laughs> I'm going to run downstairs one more time. I'm going to start grinding up some coal. Because I will need that coal dust, first of all, to make solar panels. And second, to make uh, raw carbon fiber, to make carbon mesh, to make carbon plate, to make a nano suit. So that's uh, someday. I am gonna get you someday. Let's 
Let's see, it's going to need some water real soon. Are we going to get another bucket of biomass out yet? Go ahead and throw that in there, throw that switch. It takes a second to warm up. And then, ta-da! Great thing about biogas engines is they will not ever overheat. They are probably the safest engine you can get and the most reliable engine you can get. The power output is pretty decent. Um, I think they will go to up to 4 MJ a tick. I could be wrong. But yeah, uh, you will not ever see me use a combustion engine. They explode. It's terrible. I've used magmatic engines. I'm not real happy with them, honestly, though, compared to biogas. Okay, and it's out of water. So let's turn this engine off. And get us some delicious coal dust here. We'll just run that till it runs out. And it's, yeah, running out. Let's go get, um, and I think I've plugged up all the water downstairs. But anyway, there you have it. Biogas engine. And eventually I will have a wall of uh, machines here. I'll have the pulverizers, I'll have the electric furnaces, probably have some induction smelters, just for all the main ores, and then an extra one for all the other weird shit that comes up down here. And then, another thing I'd like to do is get some electrical engines. I have some solar powered, and some powered by a thing I did on the Ogscrack server, which I modeled after a thing that somebody else did on the Ogscrack server, uh, Blaze Power. I believe this mod has, mod pack has soul shards. It does, good. So, what I will need to do... How do you make a soul forge? Um, well shit. How the hell do you get soul shards? Oh dear. Where's the soul forge? Um, hmm. I will have to look into that. So cage. God, don't tell me you can't make them anymore. Okay, how about this? Corrupted essence. You can't get corrupted essence anymore. What the hell? Um, vile dust. Oh shit. Um, something has radically changed in the soul shards mod then. And I don't know how you make soul shards in this mod pack. So blaze power may not be a thing after all. Ooh, that sucks. Well, no biggie. We'll figure it. Some we'll figure something out. I might just have to somehow farm them in the Nether. Okay, there's all my coal dust. And turn that off. Alright, and next time I'll get started building some solar panels. I will see you later. Bye-bye.